Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna go over how to download apps right here on your iPad. So let's get started. On the top right hand side, you guys will see that I have the App Store. So that's what we're looking for, the App Store. If you don't see the App Store for any reason, that's okay. Just tap in the middle of your screen and then move your finger downwards and you will see this. So from here, you can search for any app. In this case, we're looking for the App Store. So we're gonna type in App Store. Once we type in App Store, we should see the very first thing up there. It should show us that icon. So let's go right into it. And from here, we're gonna see this stuff. So it's gonna give us all the apps and the latest news about apps. It's all about apps. And this is where you would download games or anything you're looking for, even apps for Office, so for example, Microsoft Word or Excel or anything like that. On the bottom right hand side, you will notice there's the search. So right here, if we tap on search, we're gonna be able to just search for anything that we're looking for specifically. So for example, if you guys want to download something like Word, let's just search for that. And we're gonna search for everything that has to do with that. So my very first thing should be Microsoft Word, so I can download that into my iPad. Same thing for Excel and so on. If I keep scrolling down, I'm gonna see other apps that are related to that. So to download any of these apps, you're gonna have to click, for example, I have here X Office Word, so I can just tap on get. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So once I tap on get, which is on the top right hand side, I'm gonna get this message. And that's only if you guys have a touch ID or else it might ask you just for your password. Once you do that, it's gonna start the downloading process. Now the downloading process really depends on your Wi-Fi speed plus how big the actual app is. So in this case, it's not a huge app. It already downloaded. Instead of get, now what, what I see is open. So I can go ahead and open that app. However, you don't have to open it. We can just keep scrolling and look for other apps to download. Now, if we go into today, which is on the bottom left-hand side, here is where we get all our news. And this is the starting page. If you go into your second option, you're gonna see games. Now this is one of the most popular. And the first section will tell you a little bit about the most popular ones. Then if you keep scrolling down, you will see Apple Arcade games, for example. And as you keep going, you keep going, you're gonna see the top 10. Those are the ones that Apple selected. And once again, if you keep scrolling down, you will see play with a controller. That's really popular right now because you could hook up your PlayStation 4 controller or Xbox controller to your iPad, which I have a separate video for that. Anyways, besides games, our third option will be apps. So let's just tap on apps. And this section is really important. This is the part where you're gonna get the most productive apps. So iPad starter kit, that should be the very first thing. And we're gonna see things like Dropbox or like I showed you guys, Microsoft Word and stuff like that you will be able to use for school, for example, or for business purposes. So we can keep scrolling to the right just by moving your finger, swiping to the right and seeing all those apps. As I keep scrolling down, I'm gonna see more apps. Now this is a mix of entertainment apps plus others. So it's really good to look at all of this plus the top free apps which is where I suggest going to first. So on the top right hand side corner, I'm gonna see see all. So I can just tap on see all and these will be the top of the charts where it comes to be paid apps and free apps. So the free apps are on my left side and the paid apps are on the right. So this is what people download the most. As you guys can see, you can download Amazon Prime Video, you guys can download Netflix and so on. I can keep scrolling down and see all these apps here. So for example, if I would like to download Simply Piano by Joy Tunes, I can just tap on Get. It's gonna ask me again, just to verify my Apple ID, which I will. Once I do that, it's gonna start downloading. Again, downloading process depends on how big the app is and your internet speed. And how do you know what's happening? Well, we can actually tap on the app itself and open it up just to view a little bit more about it. So this is good to do if you're not sure what the app does. Um, and maybe if it's a paid app, especially don't just wanna download it right away. You wanna see reviews and everything. So you can keep scrolling down and look at the reviews and what people think about the app. As well, if you keep scrolling down, you will see the size of the app. This one, for example, it's only 273 megabytes. So it's not gonna take that much. At this point in time, I also wanna point out that you can see that circle, it's filling up. That means it's downloading. Right now my download speed's pretty slow because it's only not even halfway, it's a quarter, but it, it's going. So we can just keep going and download more and more apps or just wait for this one to be done. For now, we're just gonna go back. 
So on the top left hand side, there's an arrow, just tap on there and we can keep looking for more. Now our fourth option will be arcade on the bottom. The fourth option, we'll say arcade. And arcade is all about games. So this is a monthly subscription, which I have a separate video for that as well. And that means you get to play a ton of games with that monthly subscription. So you don't need to pay for each separate game, but just pay a monthly fee. And that way you get to play a bunch of games, which I would usually say you get to play them for free, but no, you're paying for that subscription service. <laughs> so you're paying for all those games. So if you're a big gamer, you want a lot of games, then this would be the way to go. However, there's a bunch of games that are free as well and you don't need to subscribe or anything like that. Anyways, those are the basics of how to download apps right here on your iPad. Doesn't really matter if you guys have an iPad, iPad up a touch. These are the same basics for all of them. Anyways, that would be it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.